So let's yeah. say 3.5 billion people I will go through mm-hmm. during the course of my lifetime to find my one soulmate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you looking? You look out the window. I will find you. <laughs> Frank, I, I, I just want to say that myth was busted. That myth was. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to go into my favorite part of the show where we're going to call upon the powers that be. All right. By the way, I've got my celery here for those of you in the celery challenge. Ronald, uh, you couldn't hear him before, but Ronald's coming up next uh, in, in a bit. And we're going to have another extensive wellness tip. And I'm on my uh, celery challenge. Three celeries a day with some almond butter in the boat and a red apple. Reduce your waist size by three inches. So like, I'm up for the challenge. Top of the monitor here. We hear that noise. That's the noise of the every time. Anyway, without further ado, uh, we're going to call on the powers that be, and I want to say a huge good morning to the one and only Petrina Ten. Good morning, Petrina. Good morning, Robert. Mm. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I love your energy when you come down the phone. It's like when you when you speak on the phone. It's like the sun projects from where you are through the sound barriers into my ears. That's the whole idea. <laughs> That's the spirit. Sharing the joy. Absolutely, continuously champion. Now, um, now you guys, you're you're in Northwest London, isn't it? Uh, North East North London. So your practice is in North East London, right? Yes. Um, and you do um, iridology, right? That's a- correct. And, and 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 you and Ronald, you guys work uh, with you know with people in the community, with clients to help them get better holistically, isn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, just a quick question, just for those who don't know, how long have you guys been doing that for? Well, Ronald's been doing it for over fifty years. So mm-hmm. Okay, so a long, long time. Over fifty years, and then <laughs> so you some two. Some people weren't born yet. Say that again. Some people weren't born yet. Some people, I didn't even exist. Nobody even thought about me. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, that's how it goes down. You know, and it's yeah. like, and you two have come together, and you're doing your work there mm-hmm. in North East London. Absolutely fantastic, and I'm really, really thankful, really, really grateful for you and Ronald Petrina. Um, you know, because there's things that you've been sharing with us these past weeks have been absolutely awesome, absolutely awesome, guys. If you want to check. Um, the stuff that we've gone through previously, just visit YouTube and just search Robust Life TV and we'll give you links to Petrina and Ronald. But you know what? We want to see what's happening today. So Petrina, 10, on your book analysis, what have you got for us today? Today, we've got a really treat. So get your pens and papers ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you haven't already. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're talking about the 27 myths that keep you from being happy in love. Ooh, Captain Hugo, did you hear that? Look, 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 and there's not one. 27. Sorry? 27 myths. 27, 27. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's extensive. So it's not one myth, not two myths, not even five myths, not even we ten myths. Of- We're going to cover that 27 <laughs> myths. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, and people single, people struggling in their love life and the people like, you know, really stressed out in their love life. So if we can knock down some Miss Petrina myths, mm-hmm. then we're gonna be helping a lot of other, a lot of people. Absolutely. So if you're single guys, you better get attentive right now because it's going down as we're gonna start smacking down some myths. So Petrina, we're looking at the book uh, Bulletproof Dating. Can you give us a quick recap of what we covered last week? So what we covered last week was um, we're talking about we're talking about the myth of finding the right person. Mm. Yeah, that 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 was that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, people set the bar so high, (laughs) right? And they just exclude opportunities that are right there in front of their face sometimes. Yeah. So basically, to, to summarize, we actually talked about the myth of finding the right person versus the the finding actually the suitable person. Mm. So it's not about the perfect or right person. It's about the yes. suitable person. Okay, suitable. gotcha. Brilliant. Well, guys, you know what to do to revisit that. So what we're going to be looking at today, Petrina? 
Okay, so we, we're going to be talking about 27 minutes. I'm not too sure whether we'll, we'll be able to cover it in the time that we have. We might have to split into two sections. This two or three is fine. Two or three is fine. Yes, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the first one, are you all ready? I'm first ready. Minute. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Get pen and nope, I'm ready. This is for your life. Thank you, my friend. Check yes. it over. I'll catch it with my fingers. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Captain Hugo just sent the pen over to me. Excellent. So, mm-hmm. Okay, so the first one, um, it says men are all the same. And obviously, this goes for women as well. Mm. And, and this really uh, n- normally starts off from when uh, we, we've had, you know, a few failed relationships or few disasters. Then mm. we, we tend to, you know, j- just conclude that oh, everyone's the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what page? What page is it? Because I've got I've got the bulletproof dating book here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, Captain Hugo. Oh, just, finally, just send it over stuff. to me. Okay, so it's on page one one seven. One one seven. Excellent. I'm I'm in this program. I am on this program. I am on this program, right. and my guy's got my back. Yep, it's good. Okay, so okay. men, we are we are we're all the same. Men, women are all the same. Yep. Yes, yeah. So it says that you, you really should treat treat each person the way they deserve. And all, although bad women and men do exist, there are also good ones. Mm. So you need to learn to distinguish between them and not just generalize and say everyone's the same. Everyone's got all these problems. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, here, here's a question, uh, listeners. I mean, have you ever made your new potential partner pay for your old partner's mistakes Mm. because this is something that's happened right you had a bad experience and you're kind of bringing that baggage into a new relationship and because you say all men are the same or you don't even give men Mm. or women a chance yeah because of a bad experience Mm. okay that's a one myth okay this also goes back to you know when when i started reviewing this book i always said that you know when when you go to do say a job or a business you can't say because of the past previous bad experiences with your past jobs or past businesses that the new business is going to be the same Mm. that's true exactly because each every every business is different right yes just as every individual is different so yeah Mm -hmm. so that myth has been busted yeah and the second one it's uh this is again something that i find very common especially for those who believe in god they they tend to say you know god will bring me the right person at the right time so Mm. i don't need to look i'm just gonna sit at home and wait and they're gonna just come knocking my door it doesn't work that way you have to really go out and seek seek the person Mm. and it's encouraging us to actually be proactive proactive in finding the person as well Mm -hmm. So if you're going to sit at home and, you know, not socialize at all, then chances of you're just going to meet the person who's maybe knocking on your door, your your neighbor or, you know, a salesperson or something knocking on your door. I know, right? Unless you can't be fine, you know, you're not going to find the right person. (laughs) There's a line here that says like this, the idea that God has some kind of relationship agency and dispatches the right person for every single person across the world has no biblical basis. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you come on, guys. We have to think about this one, right? You know, because uh-huh. sometimes we we we're, we're so quick to put things on. If we believe in God, to put it on God, like oh, it's in God's hands, it's in God's time, you know. But there yeah. is some due diligences and things that we need to do on our part. It never works. Like, let me just stay here, looking at a light bulb in my house. Uh, like you said, the Amazon person is going to arrive, and God is going to inspire him to talk yeah. with me about yeah. having a relationship, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah, and, and I mean again, same goes. With it. For example, if you are sitting for an exam or you know preparing for something, you're not mm. just gonna just pray and make sure everything that, that's going on. Right, you have to do your bit as well. Yeah, to make true. sure you pass the exam. That's right? true, and it even says here that what we've noticed, what we've noticed uh, behind this myth, is that its uh-huh. followers don't want to go through the trouble of searching for someone or taking the risk risk inherent in the process of finding a person yeah so it's like the person so they don't want to take the risk they don't want to they they want to be safe right they want to be in a safe Mm -hmm. zone you know and um 
Yeah, and they, and they just use this, and this is can be used as an excuse, and it, and the excuses can be valid, right? There could be valid yeah. reasons because people can be so awful to people. You know, people can go through some really crazy experiences. However, yeah. I believe uh, you know that we have a desire to be with someone, to share our life with someone, mm-hmm. and I know, and I know, I know it might sound a bit rough, but we have to keep moving forward. Right, we have yeah. to keep moving forward, and the same effort that we had in the beginning with optimism, like, oh, you know, I'm gonna find this person, you know, that 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 you know, va va boom, we had, you know, we need to keep that yeah. op- op- optimism and not lose out because of a previous or a few previous experiences. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. So, uh, what's the third one? Yep. Number three is I haven't found my soulmate yet. And this is what we've been talking about <laughs> so, in the past. Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. It's just I just remember yeah. like a, a Disney cartoon. Like I just, I just, just this, this phrase. It's funny, you know, because sometimes we can say these things and get caught up in yeah. these things, but when it's presented to us, it's like, yeah, Brian, go ahead, Petrina. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. So it talks about um, the myth of the soulmate is a myth that comes from the uh, Greek mythology, mm-hmm. which says that humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head, and with two faces. Mm. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know it was like, it was, there's actually, Captain Hugo, you're getting mm. this. The soulmate idea is a Greek idea that human had before had two heads, two arms, and two legs, and two faces. So I think he's gonna four, four arms, four legs. Four arms, yeah, four legs. I know the thing. You heard about yeah. this thing? Wow! But not. I didn't know they were related. Where it to came so from? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, all connected together. Yeah. Go ahead, Patrina. Continue with that line. Yeah. So, so you're talking about the myth. It says uh, where humans were originally created with four arms, mm-hmm. four legs, a head, and two faces. Mm-hmm. But the the ruler of the Greek gods split humans in half as punishment for wanting to take the place of God. Mm. And this is how, how that soulmate uh, came about, that, that it split into half. So we have to find that that other half, basically. Well, I love this bit here. It says, no one has ever told oh. us how we managed to survive such a traumatic operation. <laughs> 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 I can only imagine the bloodbath. But the procedure was so perfect that it left no scar. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my days. Those Greek gods are something else, yeah. boy. Oh wow. But yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so it goes on to say mm-hmm. Yeah, it goes on to say and those poor creatures who, who survived that operation, that mm-hmm. perfect operation, were condemned to spend the rest of their lives looking for the other half. Absolutely. So it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. This whole soulmate idea doesn't actually make sense, you know. Last week you mm-hmm. talked to me, Katrina, that you know what? Yeah. Well, I think it's last week or two weeks ago that if for me to find my soulmate, my other half, my one person, I have a long line of seven billion people, and obviously, let's say yeah. half and half, a female, yeah. half a male, f- male. So let's yeah. say three point five billion people. I will go through mm-hmm. during the course of my lifetime to find my one soulmate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you look and you look out the window. I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! And, and probably makes it harder now because with all the travel restrictions, if our uh, other half was uh, somewhere else, that's it. We've had, we, we, and then now we've locked down, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah. The government yeah. said you will never be complete because I imposed mm-hmm. on you a lockdown. Find yeah. your other half now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go find them now. Come on now. Go find them now. You locked you in isolation. Go. Okay, it's not a joke, but um, the, the, it is funny when you think about it. But the reality is, is that. It's such a it's such a myth. It's just such a myth, yeah. you know, that we yeah. really have to look out for these kind of things and not let them get to be our, in our head and become part of our belief system. Mm-hmm. You know, this is really yeah. important. Hmm. Okay, go on, keep it going, champion. Okay, so the myth number four is. Oh, sorry, all that I, I, I just want to say that myth was busted. That myth was uh, I haven't found my soulmate yet. Yeah, so it's busted. Okay, <laughs> we've just busted it. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, myth number four is all that matters is being happy. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a very interesting one. All right, but what so, we'll do, what we'll do, what we'll do, we'll go for a quick timeout and then we're going to come back. 
sure. Yeah, we'll go for a quick timeout and we'll come back. So just to recap, what's the three that we covered? So the three, the first one is men and women are all the same. That's it. Number two, God will bring me the right person at the right time. That's so it. I don't have to stop searching. Mm-hmm. And the third one is I haven't found my soulmate yet. That's it. All right, guys. So look, let's get these thoughts out of our head. We're going to go into number four that uh, Petrina is going to share with us after this very quick timeout. I just want to say a huge good morning to uh, Paulette from Palasto. Da Vinci saying good morning. Carmen. Good morning to you, Carmen. <laughs> and also a- angels cracking up laughing. All right. These myths, eh? All right. So, Petrina, you ready to fire some more after the timeout? Definitely. Oh, yeah. Always ready. That's the spirit. Guys, we'll be right back in just a moment. Right after... This You know, we're on the subject of um, bulletproof dating on this uh, book analysis. And nothing better to get all of that good stuff in our Love Talk program that we have on Thursdays at 8 p.m. at the UCKG Help Center. Want more information? Visit uckg.org. Just turn up the, the rainbow on your nearest UCKG Help Center because it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. All right, now back to our book analysis with Petrina. Petrina Tan, how are we doing, super lady? We're good, thank you. Good, good, good. So we just tra- we just finished... Three myths that we completely busted, all right, in our book analysis, uh, Bulletproof Dating. What's number four? Mm-hmm. Number four is all that matters is being happy. Okay. But, I mean, that doesn't sound threatening. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure you're going to reveal quite a few things to us. Go for it, champion. That's right, yeah. So nobody can be really happy while making others unhappy. Mm-hmm. So what, what this means is... Um, this is the motto for those who are either don't understand anything about happiness or only know about temporary happiness. Mm-hmm. So what, what it talks about is um, you, you need to be wary of your actions and not just think short term that oh, this, 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 um, this action is just going to make me happy temporarily mm-hmm. and not bear in mind the consequences that, that will result as a result of the, your, your temporary step. Mm-hmm. To, to go towards this um, temporary happiness. Mm. So, 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 so uh, the example is, for example, uh, betraying your spouse or abandoning your children just to have that temporary happiness. Okay. So it's a false sense of happiness then, isn't it? Yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. Mm. Wow. So it says here, if being happy is all that matters, then why work or study mm-hmm. when you could have fun? Why don't we give people a well-deserved slap on the face instead of letting go? Why don't we Mm -hmm. eat chocolate cake morning, afternoon and night? (laughs) It's obvious that if we always do what makes us happy, the consequences will Mm -hmm. be disastrous, especially in relationships. Yeah. Hmm. Nice one, Petrina. So it says the truth about being happy is Mm -hmm. that sometimes we have to do things that are difficult repetitive and boring so that we can enjoy the good consequences mm. it's true because you know sometimes when, when, you know in the world of motivation all this other stuff mm-hmm. we always hear about stepping out of your comfort zone if you want to create or build anything you need to be in discomfort so you can reap the rewards in the future you know all that kind of mm-hmm. hype and wine stuff right and it's the same yeah. thing with our relationship right it's and I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm someone I've been married it, like this year is going to be making 20 years I've been married and wow. it, it's 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 so deceiving and it's so um, alluring mm-hmm. to be unhappy with a situation and try to be like, okay, you know, do you know what I mean? Instead of going through the uncomfortability of going deep and resolving it, you know what I mean, or getting yeah. really uncomfortable. So this is mm-hmm. this is a huge one. This is a huge one because. Uh, you know, because time and space is relative. I always use this term with my children. And time is going to pass anyway. And, and if you just stay in a state of, it's only important to be happy and you're not really dealing with stuff mm-hmm. or dealing with things, then you can lose a lot of time of actually being genuinely happy. Yes. Mm. And there was something so else here. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. 
Yeah, it talks about what makes you happy is not doing what you feel, but doing what is right, and that is important. Oh wow! Wow, what makes you happy is not doing what you feel, but doing what is right. You know, our feelings can be so deceptive. Uh-huh. Isn't it? Our feelings could be so deceptive, false sense of security, but we can sense yeah. that no, something's not right. You know, this uh-huh. needs to be organized, this needs to be sorted out. And I saw something here, it's, and it's quite strong. It says, many people end up betraying their spouses, abandoning, yeah. abandoning their children, destroying uh-huh. families, and disseminating, disseminating hate because they say that they want to be happy. As if only they yeah. had the right to be happy to the detriment of other people's happiness. Um. <laughs> wow. Human beings, we are very we can be very selfish, isn't it? Yes. We can be very, very selfish. So there's a lot of discomfort that we need to deal with and just to kind of gaze over things and try to escape certain situations just for the sake of being happy or to give a proposed peace is is quite yeah. dangerous from what you were sharing with us today. Yes. Mm. Okay, all right. Well, by the way, where's my backing music for this part of the show, Captain Hugo? That's it. I love that. Yeah, I just, I just felt like you know, I love it, but I don't like it being too serious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, you go ahead, Katrina. What are we got next? Okay, so number five. Mm-hmm. I, I want I, to get sorry, the- sorry, and and we just that one was that last one was what? All that matters is being happy. So that myth has been busted. <laughs> okay, all right, go ahead. Okay, number five. I want to get married to be happy. Ooh, hot one! Take us to the promised land, Petrina. Yeah. yeah. Now, now this one is so so common. I I have a lot of friends who obviously um, mo- mo- some some of you would have known that I I got married at quite a late stage as well. Mm. And these friends, they are still single or they are still trying to find their 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 so called soulmate. Mm-hmm. And often they they say to me, I, I wish I could just get married and be happy just like you right and i keep reminding them that you know it didn't really work out that quickly for me so they need to be patient as well yeah it's true so it talks about it, it talks about um it says the bearing of this myth is i want to marry someone who completes me <laughs> uh, now for a marriage to go well both husband and wife must comp- must be complete individuals and this is what we've been saying all this long Mm-hmm. We must be complete in ourselves before we get married. Mm-hmm. However, however, as I said, the, the friends that are uh, following this myth, they are thinking that they are incomplete. So, in order to be complete, they have to get married. Mm. So what we are saying is that you need to be complete individuals a- a- as as a single person, anyway. That's right. That's an interesting thought, and um, I, ju- I, I we're going to continue with that actually because I, I was going to hold it there. But Angel said something yeah. here just to to add to what we had because there's a bit of delay from the live stream to the actual uh, what we're happening here. And she says, "Yes, being happy with the right for the right reasons is always the best decision to make." Absolutely, uh-huh. Angel, you can't go wrong with that. And this whole thing about um, making if I marry someone, they will make me happy. Already, just hearing that scares the life out of me. Yeah. It's scared like because you know sometimes I don't know if you've experienced people that are very that can be very clingy. I mean, I I, when, uh-huh. I got married. I, I wasn't someone that got into lots of relationships when I was when I was yeah. sing, single. You know uh-huh. what I mean? I didn't like you know when I came to God, I didn't go into different relationships. Before that, I didn't get into lots of relationships. Um, but I know what a clingy woman looks like. You know, uh-huh. and uh, yeah. and and it could be with men as well. They always need some. They yearn desperately for approval. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like I need this other person so that I can be satisfied, so I can be whole. Until mm-hmm. I find this other person to make me whole, I'm malfunctioning. But yeah. guess, but what's the reality that happens if the person's not complete in what you're saying? When you join to the other person, you either disturb the other person who's complete and doing okay, yeah. and they and they will be mm-hmm. like. Uh, you know it'll be a, it'll be quite excessive right because uh, yeah. you need fixing and uh-huh. if you're both if you're both incomplete yeah we've got an episode of EastEnders <laughs> that's, what, that's what we got we got an episode of EastEnders it's, it's just gonna happen that's it's gonna be you know what I mean and then you just you know pretend yeah. like you said all that matters is being happy that excuse afterwards yeah. you know so yeah. that, so I value that I value the importance of being 
good when you're alone, mm -hmm. right? You're so yeah. good that, like what you said, you waited, you waited, uh -huh. you, you know, you're like, nah, you know, people are like, oh, look at your lovely relationship. But, you know, if you didn't wait, if you didn't work on yourself, mm -hmm. wait, make sure you're good to meet someone else that's good who is Ronald, do you get what I mean? It would be a completely yeah. different story. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. Uh, um yeah like my like me I, I remember that before i came to the help center mm -hmm. i needed a woman because <laughs> i thought yeah. that, that i could be yeah. happy satisfy my needs ah yeah. you know what i mean but then when i came to the help center i was like you know what i need god first in my life and i became whole instead of being like half i became whole i was strong and it's like you know what if i if i die in this earth and i'm single i'm happy so long as I have yeah. my, my, you know, so long as I stay in my complete state, you know, so uh, it, it made the beginning, it made it very easier. It made it a lot easier. And that's what part of what sustains mm -hmm. us till today, you know. So yeah. this is a huge one, guys. If you listen to this, those of you who listen in, this is huge. This is huge. I, I, and also just to emphasize on this, I have a sister in faith. Now I was speaking to, I was speaking to you about her when we was going through the study previously. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, we we've known each other for in a youth group for a long time and i huh? admire her i admire her in terms of that she's not bothered she says look you know what? i'm gonna just be an auntie you know what i mean yeah. times like i'll just be an auntie like i got i don't need to you know whoever needs you know i think mm -hmm. i'm i just want to make sure that i'm good i've worked to myself i want to find someone not to raise an unrealistic bar but she's generally saying mm -hmm. if i see something's not right here i'm not gonna go so she's complete she's good she's whole you know that's great mm, it's good this is great yeah. examples we've got so many good examples around us yeah we busted that <laughs> myth we busted that myth oh, oh, yeah busted yeah take it yeah <laughs> myth busted by the angel says most people nowadays thought that entering a relationship makes them complete but the truth is mm -hmm. we're just sharing what we have or who we are to other people Oh, ooh. <laughs> sorry, that's my kids. That's what they taught me. Patrina, did you get that one? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah that, that that's true. We when we come together, we're sharing what we are to other people. So if we're not okay yet, and don't mm -hmm. worry, everybody starts off somewhere. But while you're yeah. single, work out the ironing, work out the creases, work yourself out because it's easier. <laughs> You know, it's easier when you're single and, and it, oh, if I have someone that will support me to, to, to sort myself out, that or you could damage the other person, you know, yeah. uh, uh, we the, we need to do it while we're, while we're separate. Mythbuster, yeah. thank you for that. And Angel says, and this really reality that most people are so blind to see nowadays. Wow, Angel's mm -hmm. going in, you know. Angel. Angel's going in. I think Angel, Petrina, I think Angel's like you, she's hardcore. <laughs> She's hardcore great. like you, but it's good. Yeah, but okay, so myth busted. Yeah. Myth busted, yeah. So, so it's interesting you, you touched on the word, word uh, clingy. Yeah. And that is also bringing up um, someone that's insecure. Mm -hmm. And I still remember years ago when we were attending the, you know, the, 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 the marriage course. Yes. And with this particular pastor and the wife actually shared how when they were when, when they were just recently married, mm -hmm. the, the, the wife was actually very insecure in the sense that uh, she would even get jealous if if they were together on a bus and because they couldn't sit together and if the husband was sitting with, with someone else, she would get totally jealous. Ooh. Wow. And, and that, that's an example of being insecure. Yeah. Yeah, humans, human beings, we're complicated creatures, isn't it? Yeah. And, and and here's the thing, here's the thing. That insecurity, if that gets vocalized in the wrong way, it could bring a problem that shouldn't really, that doesn't really exist. Yes. You know that we can see that we can see the conversation, the argument, or whatever. But the issue is that insecurity. Mm -hmm. You know, so wow, wow, and obviously they're there because they've got they overcame that, and and obviously okay. by acknowledging these things, that's how we overcome them, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. So, so just just to summarize on, on this uh, on this myth, mm. it says two complete individuals make a happy marriage. Mm. The opposite is also true. For example, if one of them or both are incomplete, mm -hmm. then they'll probably have a they'll, they'll probably have serious problems in their marriage. Mm. If you're not happy before you get married, you probably won't be happy later as well. Wow, wow! And you're going to transfer that unhappiness, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. Wow, because it's reality, and, and and this is such a huge myth. You know, this is such a big myth, and I think that's why we we're, we're, we're elaborating so much onto it. And mm-hmm. you know, the thing about the thing about marriage. Let's talk about marriage here. The thing about marriage is that you're excited about what you don't have yet, and when you get something new, you're happy about it, right? Yes. But then yeah. after comes that friend of ours called time. Uh-huh. And time shows all the cracks, all the creases, all the gaps. Do you get what I mean? You're no longer at a point mm-hmm. where I need to impress this person. No, because guess what? You have the person now. And all that's yeah. left is the desire to add to that person or not, or just yourself or not. Right? So this mm-hmm. is the thing. So like um, uh, Angel was showing us as well, we have to really look in the long term when we're thinking about a relationship that we, we, we want something long term, but these are the things that we have to go through and analyze uh, before we engage with someone um, and, yeah. and kind of see what's happening with ourselves. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And so it says, mm-hmm. marriage, marriage is not a factory of happiness or a workshop to repair unhappy people. Ooh. Wow. Marriage is not a factory of happiness or a repair shop or to repair shop. unhappy people. Unhappy people. Ooh, I don't need to add any more to that. Like, come on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. And it's, 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 it's. it's it's not, it, I'm, I'm joking and I'm, I'm jesting a bit here because there's some things that are just mm-hmm. kind of like, we know, we really do know, right? We, we really do know when mm-hmm. we put the pieces together. But marriage alone, you know, the fact is it won't make you happy and it won't fix you. That's it. It just, it just pro, 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 appropriates what the two people are. Yeah. That sounds right, isn't it? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, so that's quite interesting. Uh, we also, in the same subject, and I think this is going to be the last one that we're going to go, go on because we've got Ronald ready there, sure. wired and, and fired and inspired. Angel says, where can I watch the recording of this live stream? Because I have to go. I have our 3 p.m. Lord's Supper here in uh, SILC in Taiwan. God bless your program. I've learned so much. Uh, you can easily visit youtube.com forward slash robust life TV and it will connect you to every to the repeat of the show. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to put that on the channel. Uh, but yeah, do you want to sum up this part? Because I think we've done five and I think we can, we can do yes, it in, five. in fives. Yeah. Exactly. So you want to just give yeah. a quick summary? Yeah. So the quick summary is uh, the first one is men or women are all the same. Mm-hmm. So we, we shouldn't generalize because of past uh, bad experiences, mm-hmm. good experiences. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Second one is uh, God will bring the right person at the right time. So basically we need to be proactive and start looking rather than just sitting at home and saying God, God will answer my prayers, basically. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Third one is I haven't found a soulmate yet, my soulmate yet. Yep. Yeah. So we talked about the great technology, how it worked. Yes. Yep. Must Number be. four is all that matters is being happy. <laughs> so you want to punch that one out as well? Yes. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Busted. And, and the fifth one, the fifth one is I want to get married to be happy. That's it, busted. All right, guys. So, look, if you want to catch the program, it's in the live chat to so check this out again. Also, the book Bulletproof Dating, you can pick it up at local use KG Help Center. Absolutely phenomenal book. And every Tuesday, Tuesday. Wednesday, sorry, we're, we're going to be going through it and doing a book analysis deep dive with the one and only Petrina Ten. Petrina Ten, you've been awesome. Thank awesome, you, Robin. I've been really enjoying sure. this. Yep, I've been really enjoying this. I've been thoroughly enjoying this, and I can't wait till next week Wednesday where we're going to continue and find out and bust. <laughs> The, the 21 other myths. The 21 other myths. Don't worry, Captain Hugo, you got it. Connect online Monday to Friday with special guests for inspiration, motivation to start your morning right. Music, banter, fun and laughter. Connect Connect. when you start your mornings with The Breakfast Show. Only on libertyradio.co.uk That's right, The Breakfast Show is back.
libertyradio.co.uk from 6.30am.